Hey you guys, today I will be upgrading my already awesome X-Tool S1 and I'll be installing this inline duct fan. Now I already have an inline duct fan installed onto my laser, but that one I bought it on Amazon and it's only 210 CFMs. And then I saw recently that uh, on the X-Tool website they have an inline fan that is 450 CFMs for the same price so I contacted, I contacted Xtool and I asked them if they would be so kind to send me one for review and they said yes, so here it is. And um, we'll be installing this bad boy and we'll see how powerful it is. And uh, before we get unboxing this, I just wanna you know, explain what's the difference between air assist and uh, inline duct fan. Cause there seems to be a lot of confusion, especially people that are new to lasering, they don't know what's the difference. Well, an um, air assist, its main job is to keep the lens clean. It just blows air right there into the nozzle of the laser and it keeps it clean. And by keeping it clean, that just prolongs the life of the laser. Also, it prevents as a side effect, prevents scorching and it keeps the laser a little bit cooler. So it prevents fire. Now, an inline duct fan, what it does, it um, takes all that smoke that it builds up into the machine. And this, you don't need to have an S1 to use this thing. You can use it for any other laser that is enclosed. You need an enclosed laser. And um, what it does, it takes all that smoke that builds into the enclosure and shoots it out the window. Or in my case, out of my garage door. But you might ask, well, Skylar, the S1 already has that little fan built in. Yes, it does. And it works great if you're right next to a window and snake that hose out the window, it works great. But if you have it a little bit further from the window or if you just wanted to eliminate more smoke, then this is an absolute necessity. Uh, those tiny fans, they're usually pretty small and even though they clear up the smoke, it still kind of hovers there for a while. And then the problem is all that smoke deposits onto the blades of your fan inside, inside of the laser module, all around your chains and everything else. And in the long run, it will damage your laser eventually um, if you don't keep it clean. I don't really like cleaning my laser. I clean it maybe once a month. So having this to keep it clean so I don't have to clean it that often, it's essential for me because I do a lot of cutting and I do a lot of deep engraving. So I have to cut, uh, engrave very deep so I can make inlays. I don't do a lot of engraving. If you are just having your laser for to do light engraving, then you're not producing that much smoke and you probably don't need this. But if you're cutting material or do inlays, this is an absolute must. All right, enough chit chatting, let's get right into it. Um, when we go to the laser, I will show you, I also did another upgrade. They sent me the riser uh, base, so I'm gonna show you that as well. But for now, let's open this box. Should be really easy to install. Like I said, I already have one, but mine, it's half the power. So I wanted something more powerful to keep my laser cleaner and my shop smoke free. We have a manual. I don't think we will need that. Maybe we will. Then let's see, we have the fan itself. Very, very well packed. This is a six inch fan. The one that I have that I told you I bought for the same amount from Amazon, it's only four inch. And also that one was 210 CFMs. This is 450. So there's the fan unit. Then we have an adapter and this takes the six inch to three inch. The S1 has a three inch hole hose and this is six inches. So this one will just go on the end of this. Then we have our six inch hose. I'm not sure we will use this one. We will probably not use it in fact and I'll explain to you why in a second. And then we have two clamps, one for the six inch, one for the three inch. And then we also have some drywall screws and it looks like some 
rubber feet and so on. And this is if you wanna attach it on your wall. Mine is not gonna be on the wall. I won't need those things. So that is what's in the box. Now, let me take you to my laser and I'll show you my situation right now, what I'm working with. So here is my current situation right now. I have my inline fan that I told you I bought on Amazon. And there's a hose, a four inch hose that attaches to a hole that I drilled into my garage door with the hole saw. So there's the inline fan and then on the other side, it's the hose that goes to my machine. So that's kind of how it goes. Now let's turn on my current fan to see how much power it has. It has a remote over here. So here is my remote and let's see. You see it has all those dots in a circle. I'm gonna turn it to max power. There you go, now it's at max power. You can hear the fan kicking in. And now let's go outside to see how much this uh, is blowing. So here we are outside and you can see the vents are just a little bit cracked. That is how much air is blowing out right now. Now, as you can see, the fan has markings, the airflow, it goes in this way and come out that way. So we need to attach the X-Tool attachment that will fit our X-Tool hose onto this side over here. So I'm going to go get that one, but first I'm gonna set this down. Excuse my mess in the shop, but uh, this cart it was supposed to be temporary and uh, I am going to build some shelves in here and put a better piece of plywood on the base, but that didn't happen yet. I've been very busy, so we're gonna work with what we have. So that's what we're gonna do. Again, this is the attachment that will fit the six inch over here and then the machine hose goes on this side. And this is to be very tight fit, just like that. Don't have to do anything else. Let me move the camera lower so you can see what's happening underneath there. All right, you guys, here are where we're standing so far. The airflow comes from the machine this way. It goes in, you see the arrows shows that it goes this way. And now we need to attach this side to go outside the garage door. My problem is the hole into my garage door is four inches. So this is a six inch hose that will come with the machine. And uh, I need to put an adapter either to the hole so I can change the six inch holes into a four inch to go outside my door, or I can drill a six inch hole into the door, or I can put an adapter at the machine to change this from six to four, and I can use my old hose. Ideally, I would drill a new hole to make it six inch to let more air flow out. I'm not gonna do that right now. I do not have a hole saw that is six inches. So I'm just gonna put an adapter here on this side of the inline fan that I have. Uh, and I'm going to use my old hose that way. Uh, I can use the new inline, but my old hose, and I don't have to drill a new hole, a hole right now. So here I have a six inch to four inch adapter. This done, did not come with the machine. It comes with the six inch hose, but because I wanna use my old hose, I'll be using this adapter. So this one just sticks in here. It's very, airtight, no leaking there. And then I will attach my old hose to this end. And 
Now, some of you guys might wonder, why do I have this really long hose here if I'm so close to the door? And I'll explain to that in a second. Let me just position this in a better position here. Now, the reason I have that really long hose from my inline fan to the outside door, that is because accidentally, a few days ago, I opened the garage door while my hose was still attached to the door. And boy, was I happy that that line was long because it snaked all the way to the ceiling. And because it was long enough, my laser was not dangling off the ceiling. Everything stayed in place and that really saved it. So as much as I would like to cut it short and make it more efficient, I think because I have it to the garage door attached, I am going to leave it the whole length. Now let's turn it on and to see if it's more powerful. There has this little dandy remote over here. We'll turn it on. You can hear it. And let's go outside and see how the fans are looking. Oh wow, big difference. Look how open they are now. Now, just for a quick bonus, I am going to show you the riser base because I installed it yesterday and some of you might be curious about it and you know, ask yourself if you need it or not. So let's go take a look at the riser base. So here is the riser base. It makes your laser a little bit taller and it has these magnetic do doors. It has this, uh, Signs here says press to open and close. So it opens just like that. And then let me open the lid. Your tray sits right in it. So here is where I keep my honeycomb grid. And then it has different levels. So you can raise your tray higher or put it lower, depending on the thickness of material you're engra engraving. Previously, without the riser base, uh, for me, I was not able to engrave uh, three quarter inch material unless I took out the honeycomb grid because it was just not low enough. The laser module kept hitting it. So now I can just lower the tray or raise it up based on what material I'm using. It closes securely. And then this riser base also has a door on the back. Let's go check that one out. So as you can see, it also has a door at the back. And that is because if you are buying the conveyor belt to, you know, engrave really long pieces, like if you make a sign and it's, let's say, five foot long, you can just pass it through, through the front all the way to the back. And that's how you will work with the riser base. Now, if you have a laser, doesn't matter if it's the X-Tool or X-Tool S1, any laser that is enclosed, I really recommend you get yourself an inline fan. And uh, this is gonna prolong the life of your laser so much more. And also it prolongs your life too, because if you have any kind of smoke in the environment or fumes in the environment you're working in, those are not healthy for you. And you really wanna get rid of those and send them outside. I'll leave links in the description below to the inline fan. If you decide you would purchase this, please use it. It's an affiliate link. That means to no extra cost to you, I will gain a small commission. Now, I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.